Welcome to Imperion Galactic Survival, I'm your host Probability of Success Zero and this is a quick heads up to my fans and those who have uh, been coming to my channel over the last couple of weeks and months. Now we've been running season 3 now for quite some time, in fact I can't even remember when we started it, it's been that long ago. We've got up to episode 72 as of today and I'm actually deciding to end the series on that particular episode. There is a very good reason why I want to do that. It's because I've been looking around for a scenario that gives me a lot more direction, play the game in, and I've decided that uh, Project Eden is sort of the scenario that I want to be doing. That being said, I currently have the server set up for my current playthrough. I am going to be backing up that server and being I will be putting Project Eden onto it. Now, I will be doing it episode very shortly. I'm going to be also, at the same time, it's starting the new series, which will be season four, which is going to be very different because we're going to be playing a set scenario rather than just the default multiplayer game or default uh, single player game. We are going to be shortening the episodes so at the minute you've probably noticed if you've been watching my episodes I tend to go on for quite some time most of my episodes run for in excess of an hour in a, on average and I do that because that's the only way I feel you can get quite a lot done an hour and 15 minutes tends to be typically a good chunk of time for me to get quite a bit done in the game now I've seen other players sort of or more precisely other YouTubers playing Imperion doing episodes are about 30 minutes now personally I think that's just a bit too short for me unless I cut a lot of the content out and I'm not someone who does a lot of cutting uh, simply because I want you to be able to see exactly what I'm doing rather than sort of seeing oh here's a highlight here's a highlight here's a highlight because then all you've got is a series of clips that have been just stuck together rather than you know the continuous narrative of here's where i started these are the mistakes i've made this is how i recovered and this is how i succeeded sort of thing um so i'm going to be aiming for shorter episodes i'm thinking about maybe between 40 to 45 minutes is what i'm going to be aiming for uh, simply because I think that's a bit shorter for people to digest. It's a bit of a more uh, palatable kind of duration for people to watch the videos. Uh, I know an hour and 15 minutes is quite a lot of time to kind of sit down and watch a video, especially if you're watching the entirety of it. 45 minutes with skipping should be about more reasonable. Um, so I'm going to be doing that at the same time. Now, I want to talk about Project Eden. Now, Project Eden is a custom scenario that's been in production now by a developer. For, forgive me, I've completely forgotten his name. I think it's Raven FF, if I recall correctly. I might have got that completely wrong. Um, I do apologise. Um, it is something that's been around for quite some time and it is constantly undergoing improvements. And frankly, from everyone that I've spoken to who have played Project Eden, they've said it is what the base game should be. Now, I've already downloaded the scenario and I've kind of gone to the initial setup screen to have a look at how the game kind of presents itself, or at least how the, the, the setup kind of presents itself. And it looks, frankly, very interesting. Um, there's quite a few choices for where you can start with clear indication of how difficult it can be. Now, I've already picked what I want to start on, the, the kind of starting planet, and I think it's going to be quite an interesting one. Now, it's not a hard one. It's actually going to be one of the easier ones, simply because I don't know the scenario, and um, I kind of want to ease my way in. But what I'm interested in, really interested in, is the interactivity that's been built into the game. Now, I know there's a lot of stuff in the game that just isn't, sorry, in that scenario that isn't in the base game, within the base um, default scenarios. And I'm really interested in seeing that because there seems to be, like, it's been built into the scenario, reasons to go places, not just there's a planet there, there's a reason to go to the planet. 
there's missions there, there are people you can talk to, there are, there are objectives there are like, um, you know, uh, events, things like that, which are just not there in the base game. And I'm really kind of excited for what Project Eden potentially can be like. So for now, I'm going to wrap up this little bit of a rant and I'm going to do another video shortly on Project Eden. So that's this season done and I'll catch you in season four.